Integrals are your friends. Accept them before they destroy you. All right, let's talk about energy in a planetary orbit. Okay, and let's think about a satellite that's orbiting the Earth. Here's the Earth. Here's our satellite. It's got the little solar panels on it. And it's going around the Earth. And let's say it's roughly moving in a circle around the Earth. How much energy is in this satellite? Well, it's moving, so it has kinetic energy. It's in a gravitational field, so it has potential energy. And that's it. Right? Gravitational energy, potential energy. But we know exactly what kinetic energy is. Kinetic energy is one half mv squared. And now we know what gravitational potential energy is. It's g m m over r, not squared, just over r, where the big M is the mass of the Earth, the little m is the mass of the satellite, and this distance there is, of course, r. If that's the total energy, let's ask the following question. Is that E positive? Is it zero? Or is it negative? It's not really clear, right? We've got a positive number here, but we're subtracting this other positive number there. And it's not really clear which one it's going to be. So let me ask you guys, what do you think? Jackie, what do you think? Is the energy going to be positive, zero, or negative? Um, I think I'm not sure, actually. OK, excellent. <laughs> that's, uh, that's why we're here, right? Yeah. <laughs> if we knew all the answers, why would we be here? OK. What do you think? Do we like the idea that things have positive energy? Or are we okay with the fact that they maybe have negative energy? Positive. You like positive? Not necessarily? No. All right, so we don't know the answer to this, right? Let's see if we can figure out the answer to it. What we can do is we can relate this V to some of this stuff over here. Okay, how do we do that? Well, what we remember is that if it's moving in a circle, the sum of the forces have to add up to mv squared over r. And there's only one force here. It's g, mass of the Earth, mass of the satellite, divided by r squared. That equals mv squared over r. And so it looks like I can relate this mv squared stuff to these other parameters, which maybe we can solve this and plug it back into there. All right, what do we do? Well, let's multiply both sides by an r. We'll get rid of that r, and we'll get rid of one of those. And then let's multiply both sides by a half. And if I do that, this side becomes 1 half mv squared. And the other side becomes one half g m m over r. Remember, we got rid of one of the r's, so we just have one left. Aha! Uh -huh. And this thing we can plug back into this equation. And so the total energy becomes what? It is one half minus one g m m over r. I get a half from this term, that goes here. I get this guy, which becomes the 1. And so a half minus 1 is, of course, negative a half. So what's the total energy? It is minus 1 half g m m divided by r. And those are all positive numbers. 
And so what's the energy in the planetary orbit or the satellite orbit? It's negative. We just did a circular orbit. You can in fact prove this also for elliptical orbits. It's a little more complicated, but the answer is the same. The total energy is also going to be negative for an elliptical orbit. So we're back to this question of negative energy. What do we mean by energy less than zero? Total energy less than zero. Jordan, what do we mean by that? When I say the energy of the system, the energy of this satellite is negative, what does that mean? You're saying that it's bounded to the mass of the Earth. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's a bound orbit. The satellite is bound to the Earth through gravity. It can't leave. It can't just fly away into outer space and never come back. It is, in fact, bound to the Earth. Just like the Earth is bound to the sun. Right? We can't fly away from the sun. We are in a bound orbit. Anytime you have a total energy that is negative, that is a bound orbit. And guess what? It doesn't have to be two particles that have mass like this. It could be two particles that have charge, like the proton and the electron. The electron that orbits the proton has a negative energy. And that means it is bound, which is a good thing, because if it wasn't bound, it would fly away and we wouldn't have atoms. Okay? It's a good thing that we're bound in this case because if that satellite wasn't bound, it would fly away. We wouldn't have GPS. And you wouldn't be able to find the nearest Starbucks, right? When you go to your Apple Maps. Okay? Or that Loch Ness Monster. Whatever you're looking for. Thank you.